Hey guys, today I am going to bring you a battle in one of the most well-known tanks in World of Tanks. This is one of the strongest Tire 10 TDs. This is the German Jagdpanzer E100. And um, it's the tank that has the highest penetration of all tanks in World of Tanks. And if you're like me, uh, a fan of German tanks, now um, I've got something pretty special to you. Now the Jagdpanzer E100 is one of the best tanks that you could play at Tire 10 a long time ago because it has the biggest gun. Well, now it's not the biggest anymore because there's the FV405 and the FB183 which has a, arguably a larger centimeter gun. That one is 18.3 centimeters. This is only 17. So the standard uh, shell in this tank does have a shell velocity of 900 meters, but nobody cares about that. And you also have an average damage of 1050 per shot. The average pen uh, on this tank is 299. And um, the distance doesn't really matter in this tank. You will do 290 no matter what. You also have a gun that has premium pen of 420 and uh, whenever the enemies are going to be in front of this tank they might have to be just a tiny touch um, let's say uh, just a tiny touch on the more cautious side although these guys don't really feel like they're very cautious so um, right now I've decided to keep loading this shell and then uh, switch to heat because there are three enemy tanks in front of me and I do want to overpower them and not really care about um, armor like in the new Kilana tank. That tank uh, is a bit fancy and has a bit of armor so I've decided that I don't really want to um, think about the enemy armor and just press 2 and load skill. And um, yeah, this is one of those uh, games in which uh, on, the, on this flank there are three enemy, uh, three tanks. We do have two RTs in reserve over here, and I do have the Hori too, which is uh, a bit of a sidekick in this in this particular situation. And we also have a 122 TM, which is a bit too ambitious in my opinion. So I've decided to push over here. And then I see the CS-53 as well. And uh, the Object 777 is actually a pretty good player and he knows how to pen this tank. Now I've decided to uh, get rid of the Kilana just to, to make sure that we don't really care that much about him. I've tried to angle my uh, tank. Unfortunately, this guy knows how to pen. And I think he did got my uh, lower plate multiple times. So I've already lost half of my HP almost. And uh, although I've done uh, 2,300 or three, sorry, correction, 3,350 uh, damage, um, it's a bit, it's not enough right now because I'm, um, yeah, I'm just getting started. So um, I decided to help my little friend over here. Unfortunately, he did uh, manage to get in front of me just when I was trying to fire towards him. I finished up the uh, object 777-2, was just a little bit too aggressive over there, over there. and my boy over here uh, thanks me, my Hori, but he's also one shot so he's not feeling that great. I'm also only having 800 damage, but I'm seeing that on the other side um, our team isn't doing too fancy. Now there's a decision, should I push or should I go back, and I'm thinking about trying to help out uh, my uh, art is over here and probably this guy is trying to flank so uh, yeah another skill ammo uh, and uh, there's no more TNH VZ51 so I think by this time you're uh, starting to understand why I like this tank and I do like it quite a lot so 4.5k damage uh, 1k uh, assisting and a little uh, a small bounce but unfortunately a lot of uh, the or a lot of shots did pen my lower plate and at this point I'm just uh, not driving all too well so 
I'm trying to get the perfect angle and finally I managed to get it. 5k damage and um, yeah at this point the, the the battle is hangs in the balance. I still need to reload because this tank does take, take quite a while to reload and um, now I'm undecided should I push or should I stay you know just like in the song. So I decide to actually push although uh, the Hori um, is telling me to fall back. I know that the problem uh, with the team as it is right now is that if I don't push over here and try and uh, provide a bit of spotting to my team there are only two uh, friendly tanks over here on my side and there are um, likely to be four tanks on the enemy's team on the hill. So uh, the RT does help a little bit over here and uh, yeah I just I do want to pay uh, pay back for the for the amount of measly damage that I've done, but anyways, five kills. I can't really complain too much, and I just run along in this particularly heavy looking tank and heavy feeling as well. This is one of those tanks in which you feel that you have the highest uh, caliber gun, and the, the tank is heavy and everything feel strong about it. I don't know, whenever I feel I play with this tank it's like uh, I'm in the mouse. I don't really care about uh, the enemy, uh, other enemy tanks. I just go there and do whatever the hell I want to do. So now there's a scorpion coming and I just reloaded in time and managed to swing around in time to actually get him. Um, I do take a few shots from the STRV and the list and now I'm just trying to pull back and just managed to snapshot against the Burask. Uh, I bounced a shot from the STRV and now I'm just trying to figure out a way to uh, just prolong my life just a little bit. I know the art is gonna fire in a few seconds and now I've managed to, re to reload and there's the object and the die. Unfortunately, I didn't have the time to actually aim properly the shot and get towards him. I, if I had just, I don't know, half a second or even less, two tenths of a second, I might have be able, been able to to shot the guy. But um, as it was, he did fire some gold, uh, some heat ammo, and that absolutely wrecked my little, my little tank over here. Now, the one thing that I'm... Uh, I'm doing is uh, deciding to stay a little bit more in this game and uh, yeah just look take a look at my little friend over here who was uh, trying to protect the RT and uh, unfortunately one of our RTs has died and now the second one is just staying behind um, he managed to hit the M53 the enemy RT who was in the back who actually hit me for a little bit and then due to his uh, greater rate of fire, he did manage to actually get him. Now, if we take a look over here, there might be uh, enemies from either the side or the back. Uh, honestly, my bet would be on the 280 to 68 that dash 4 uh, over here. Um, and this is what uh, the Hori is also thinking. Although to be fair, he kept on looking on this side. Now uh, our cap, our base is being capped. So um, yeah, he's trying to do the sport thing and uh, go towards the base. Now he takes a look over here, and I think that he might be able to actually spot from this distance um, the enemy who's in the cap. If uh, my my uh, my bet is probably on the oh it's the object two six eight he did kill uh, the RT and I don't think that the RT could have been killed from this side right yeah the object was behind and he kills the Hori so seven kills and six k damage but that wasn't enough. So, this was a mastery badge in the Jagdpanzer E100. Ace tanker. I also got the top gun 
and the high caliber. I think that was a bit unsurprising for uh, seven kills and quite a bit of uh, experience over here. Unfortunately, unfortunately, this wasn't good enough to actually win the battle. But sometimes, uh, whatever you do, is not gonna be enough. Uh, in this battle, I uh, fired 12 shots, I hit 10, and I pent 10. Uh, netting me an actual profit of 10k. Uh, now I want to talk to you about the infamous Jagdpanzer E100. Do you regret getting this tank? No, never. This isn't the greatest tank in World of Tanks. It's slow, it's inflexible, it takes a whole 20 seconds, cool 20 seconds to reload until you get the next shot. But when you fire, it feels, it feels great and the enemies feel not so great. So, you do uh, 1000 damage per shot with 300 average pen and if you're uh, feeling uh, feisty at some point, you get a cool 420, which is the most that you're gonna get in any uh, uh, in any tank, basically. And also, if you want to use some high explosive, you get 85 uh, pen, which isn't great. But uh, if there is an enemy tank that you need to dig out, and um, you're not sure that uh, you're gonna finish him up with uh, regular ammo, then this will definitely do the job and get a few hundred damage uh, to finish it. The gun depression isn't great. The traverse speed of the gun isn't great. The arc of the gun isn't great. The DPM is awesome. The dispersion is great, especially if you use like me an improved aim time. The weight limit, well, this thing's, this baby is heavy. It's just heavy. It will have 1200 engine power, 2200 uh, HP, and hull uh, armor that uh, will bounce quite a few shots. This is your weak spot, this is your weak spot, and also this one over here, right over here. You don't have any kind of uh, camo, let's face it. And then the view range is good enough that you don't need uh, to use binos. Other than that, no, no. This is great tank and you should definitely play it. So, the Jagdpanzer E100. It's awesome.